Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Bruce with the Jordan Hall Imaging Facility at Clemson University. And today I'm going to be talking about making a humid chamber for staining. Now, one thing that a humid chamber is good for is to help you save antibody. Antibodies are very expensive on the order of four to five hundred dollars per bottle. And you know the bottles are very small. So anything you can do to save antibody is going to be helpful. So one thing that you can do when staining is construct what's called a humid chamber. So I have cells here that I've grown on a cover slip in a petri dish. In it I've done all of my washing steps in preparation for my staining. And now I'm ready to do my staining or my antibody application. And so in order to use as little reagent as possible, antibody or stain, I'm going to construct a humid chamber. So you take a Petri dish, it doesn't have to be as large as this one that I have, as long as the cover slip can fit comfortably in it without a lot of manipulation. The first thing that you want to do is use Kim wipes or paper towels, some type of paper product that you can fold and place into the bottom of your chamber. It doesn't have to be perfectly folded. And then you're just going to use some distilled water and wet your paper. It needs to be wet to the touch but not leaving a lot of standing water in the bottom. This is going to provide our humidity in our chamber so that the liquid of the antibody or the reagent doesn't evaporate. So to protect your slide from the wet paper towel, you're going to use a small piece of parafilm cut to fit inside the chamber, but smaller than your wet paper towel or Kim White. Now the next step you can do either an inverted way or an upright way. I'm going to do it upright just for ease of showing you, but if you would prefer to, you could put your drop of reagent on the paraffin and invert your slide, your cover slip, so that your cells are touching the antibody or reagent. I'm going to do it upright, so I'm going to take my cover glass with my needle nose tweezers and make sure that I don't have too much excess washing liquid. I'm going to put it cells up on top of my parafilm. Now I'm going to put a very small drop of my, in this case, stain. This could be antibodies. And I'm going to pipette it directly onto my cover slip. Make sure that you give this a little shape to cover your cells. And now you're going to put the top onto your humid chamber. Now your antibody or, re or staining reagent will not dry out and you don't have to use as much. I used about 40 microliters here as opposed to maybe a mill inside of a chamber like this. If this is a fluorescent dye or stain, then you'll want to put it in a drawer or cover it with some type of light blocking material, either towels or aluminum foil. Once your stain is complete, you transfer your cover glass back to your wash chamber and proceed with your staining. You can reuse your humid chamber or you can throw it out.